Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I'm back, Vladimir. So we'll just continue where we we left uh, where we left uh, last meeting, which is to try to solve this small exercise on uh, finding the fitted value for uh, our time series. And then we are going to make forecasts at time period 13. So what will be our forecast on that? So we will solve for alpha equals 0.1 and alpha 0.5 and for alpha 0.9. So this approach, uh, why we are doing this? Because one of the approach for finding the, the or finding alpha using the data is just to try different values for alpha. Okay, we can we can try uh, values between zero and one, uh, equally space interval or not or even uh, not equal space. And then once we have the fitted value, we just need to compute the error. So the error will tell us whether uh, how well the alpha perform in fitting values. So a way to determine is just to find the alpha that minimizes the error, right? So in this exercise, we tried two different values, and later we will compute the different error, error measures. Uh, which, which alpha yielded the least error? And that will be our alpha. Okay, so may I request uh, my two students here to help me compute for alpha 0.1 and alpha 0.5. Okay. Ready, pake ulit? 187.367. Sir, right. na Ah, okay na. And then, Y8, 158.23. Correct. Right. And then, Y9, 132.823. Okay. Y10, 211.282. Correct. Right. Next. Point. Wait lang, sir, ah. Uh, yes. Y11 to 70.878. Correct, next. And Y12 kay 238.587. Correct. So what is our forecast at time 13? 587. Same lang, sir. Correct. So same lang sa updated sa 12. 12. So limon, nasa ang forecast ni mo sa time 13. Okay. okay, which is 238.6, two, two, uh, round off siya sa first decimal. Okay? Okay ba? Yes. Okay, okay now your next, your next um, task is um, you try to compute the mean squared error. So, ang ano, ang alpha 0.5, sabihin ko na lang, no? So, January 1 is 200. Uh, January 1 is wala siya. Uh, February, which is time period 2, is 200. March is 167.5. Iron off ko na lang siya sa 10th nga decimal. Okay? April is 181.3. May is 189.4. June is 249.7. July is 212.3. August is 183.7. September is 156.8, Akhtar is 188.4, and November is 233.0, December is 234.0. And of course, the forecasted value at time 13, which is January, na naman, but the following year, is the same as the fitted value, the fitted value on December. 
Okay, which is 234. Okay, good. So, before we end, kasi mabilis lang naman to, try to compute given na meron na kayo observe at meron kayong fit and value. Except, of course, sa ano, no, December, kasi wala kayong, ano, wala kayong fit and observe value. Try to compute for the, for the available observe and fitted value. Uh, you compute um, IB for alpha 0.1. You compute um, uh, Kinko for 0.9 and I will compute for 0.5. Compute the mean square error. So the mean square error is just the difference. You square it, then you sum, and then divide it by the number of values available. Okay? Yes. Hmm. Yes. yes. Eleven or ten? Pila ang? Ang n ang average man siya sir, di ba? Mean man siya so it depends on the number of values. Pila ten or eleven? Kung pila lang itong, ano, kung pila lang na i-pairs, pila ka pairs. Ah, so 10. 10 lang ang i-pairs. Okay. Sige, sir. Lang siya. Langan. Sige, sir. So, hindi. <laughs> Asa mo na ikinang isa? Kung ito di na siya, di ito na siya. We are, we are not in the spiritual realm here, okay? So, we are in the, <laughs> we are in the, Physical meal. So, wala hmm. tayong holding value na ang kulang mo. Kuha na? Kuha na? Sa pa, sir. Sir, kay ang Gikat ni mo siya sa tenths na decimal place and then gyanot magud mini mo sir nga if magpresent sa mong answer kay kanang to the last decimal place same nga pun karon okay. sir oh, or pwede mi mag round off ah uh, mag tenth decimal yes sir okay tagos pa yon decimal place sabi na sa last months wait okay. is Ginatuyo lang man ako na para dili mag-accumulate ang error. So, kung ano na, kung mag-compute na mo o find, let us say, mean square error, you can approximate, use the, ano, use the rounded values. Okay, sir. Okay, di ba ang computation sa, let us say, ika time 5, mag-depend siya sa time 4, mag-depend siya sa time 3. Yes, sir. So, kung mag-accumulate, mag-sigit mo. Mag-accumulate with our error, Anna, sir. O, so, mag-accumulate siya. So, pag-ground off menu, yung business, kasi sa July, inyong 202.6 lapat, mahimu noon siya 203, mga anak doon na mga possibility. So, layo na kayo yung error. So, better na, pag-dili pa siya final, June. Dili lang mag-ground off. Dili lang sa mag-ground off sa tenth or second. Just use the, you can even use the until, let us say, five decimal places. Yeah, okay. Pero kining error, kaya kaisa lang mong mag-compute, hindi man ang values, nag-depend sa lahing value na ground off. You can definitely use the rounded value to compute. As long as consistent kayo, round off kayo doon sa alpha point 0.1, round off din kayo doon sa point 0.9. Ako din, mara round off din ako sa point 0.5. Ha?
Okay, so, kaysa na si Ivy? My God. Oh, sir. Okay, point one, Ivy. Ano? Bring it on. Ano, approximately 3,438.3? Very good. Thank you. Very good. Okay, how about Kingko? Point nine. Sir, dili ko sure, sir. Feel na ako, nagkamali ko along the way. Kitag-ask ako ang decimal place. Pero approximately 5,039.44. Apit na! Pero ba, i-round off ni mo siya sa, I know, i-round off ni mo siya sa 10th decimal. Tama yung answer actually. So, two decimal place is 5,039.37. Yes, okay na na. Tanggap, tanggap na na ako na sa kuwan. Pa sir, kay taas yung kayo ang computation. Yeah, usually mga ano lang kay automatic mangod maggrade ang exam. So ako iya tag, iya is one decimal place lang siya. Dili ka ayo, ano dili ka ayo taas ang computation. Yeah, and then four point five ang mean square error is. 4,347.24. So based sa ano, based sa mean square error, ano yung best alpha in this case? So yung alpha ni ano IB na 0.1 is 2,438.3. Sa akin 4,347.24 at kay Kimpo is 5,039.4. So ano yung best alpha based dito sa mean square error. So, our objective is to minimize the mean square error. So, what is the best? So, point one. Pinatagama. Yes, exactly. So, we can use point one as our approximate value for for the alpha. In the same way, you... Yes, exactly. Yep. The good thing about computing mean square error is Um, the mean error, mean absolute, mean absolute percentage, they are actually, uh, how you say it, related to mean square error. Na kung mataas yung ating mean square error, usually, or mababa ating mean square error, usually, mababa din yung mean error, mean absolute error, tsaka mean absolute percentage error. The only difference there is that if there is what we call outlier, kung meron tayong malaki, kung meron tayong outlier dyan, It could distort the, ano? It could differ the mean error, cakap ang mean square error. It's because I mean percentage. It's because ah the outlier or yung value na kung baga is very ano siya ba very far away from the rest yah. It could affect kung ano yung bababa ano yung mataas. So you have to watch out also for that. So try to look at, meron ba ang value dito na medyo unusual? Or meron bang value dito na um, malaki lang masyado compared sa rest? So for example, itong 310, medyo malaki siya compared sa rest. Pero makita natin na meron actually mga value na medyo malapit mo sa kanya which is ang 277.5 tsaka yung um, 235. Okay? So, watch out kayo sa mga ganyang values. Okay, so, I think um, that would be enough for today. At least, na-practice ang inyong, ano, na-practice ang inyong uh, pag-solve-solve. Magdali na kayo makasolve. Uh, next meeting, um, as your assignment, kita niyo yung screen ko? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So as your assignment, pumunta kayo sa flip grid and then create a 90 seconds video. No? It doesn't need to be 90 seconds exactly. It could be 90 seconds or less, but don't make it more than 90 seconds. And then what you do is to um, uh, use that uh, platform, your flip grid, and then record a video of yourself that try to answer one or two of the following questions here. So what is the basic idea? Number one is what is the basic idea behind simple exponential smoothing? And how does the weighting observation affect the forecast? Number two is what do you think, why do you think it is called exponential smoothing? 
Number three, when is simple exponential most exponential applicable? And number four, what are the two parameters that we need to estimate by minimizing the sum of squared errors? And there is the link there for our free degree class. And then, yeah, just submit your assignment. Okay? Any deadline, sir? I will have a deadline, but do it as soon as possible. Yeah? Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. And see you next meeting, which is on Thursday. Okay. Thank you, Kaya, you say in your Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.